Facebook, YouTube, it's your boy, King HB3, aka Mr. One Time in the building. Alright, so I went to the kitchen. Hold on, I went to the kitchen. And I had some of this Welch white grape juice in the freezer. And I decided to get it out. And I put half a bottle of vodka in here. So, Shit too, it still tastes good. Had to get used to it right quick. Make this real quick. Brush angles. People, if you do not brush your hair right, you will have forks. What are forks? Forks are these things that you get in your hair that keeps your hair from lining up, keeps the way from making that actual line straight. It goes, your hair goes up this way or it goes up that way. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna speed the video up on this one, but I'm gonna go draw this out and I'm gonna draw this out and then I'm gonna show it to you. Maybe you'll have a better understanding of it. So, this out and I'm trying to make this very very simple of, of a fork and this is up for all the beginners okay Check this out. <laughs> this is the head, by the way. I can't draw, but but you're gonna you're gonna understand what I'm doing. So this is the head. Now you see these lines. These are your waves. And then over here you got this weird ass. I don't know. This is lined up. This is lined up. But right in here you like what the hell is that? That's a fork. Here's some other type of fork. Hold on, this is another type of fork that I got. Now, pay attention to these, pay real, real attention to this. Pay good attention to this. I'm gonna explain this the best way I can. You might not be able to see a fork in here, for, but uh, for all my elite waivers, for all my veterans, they know what I'm talking about when I say this. And you have to be one of those people that pay attention to detail on each part of your hair. And I figured this out just by taking pictures all the time real white. When I do like Texture Tuesdays on Facebook and on the you know wave pages, when we do Texture Tuesdays, it's basically when you take a picture of your hair real, real close on your texture. Well, when I was doing that, I was taking pictures of like certain angles and I noticed like major differences in my wave in the pattern. This was one of the patterns that I noticed that was wrong and it's because of how I'm brushing certain waves differently. And I'm still in the process of fixing all this too. But you see, now I'm showing you. Now you see these right here. This is your waves. Close up. This is what they look like close up. 
Now you see that now the first one, two, three, four, five, six wave patterns are about the same. All those wave patterns are about the same. But when you get about right here to these last three, you see the difference? I had, to, I had to do that. Now, those are all wave patterns. Those last three wave patterns are actually flipped. They're going the other way. These wave patterns are going this way, and this wave pattern is going this way. You notice this discrepancy usually about right in this area. You notice it about right in here, or right in here. What's the pattern? I mean, I mean basically, what's the, um, what they have in common? That's basically where your size split off from the top. My problem is that if I was brushing, I was brushing certain ways when I first started out. You know, I was just trying to get ways. I didn't even think, I wasn't thinking about connections. I didn't care about connections. I wasn't worried about connections. And I'm right as of now, I'm paying for that. And if I do it now, I do have the option to just start completely off the staff with all the knowledge that I've gained over the past year. But I want to work with what I got. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I put in a lot of work and I just want to, you know, accomplish what I want to accomplish with what I got now. I don't want to start over because I don't want to do the whole journey thing. I like the journey I'm on now. But, but basically is this, this situation down here at the bottom usually comes from when you're brushing different angles splitting off from the top. Now, some people don't have this problem and this is because of how their hair grows. My hair grows in a way to where I have to brush two different ways on both sides. This side I might have to brush this way, this side I might have to brush straight forward. And, but at the same time, I pay attention to my top because my top is the foundation and I want my sides to just complete. I want my sides to basically mimic my top. And that's what you're doing when you're trying to get that fully connection, especially in there. So basically what you want to do is pay attention to the actual S pattern, the actual wave pattern on the top. And then if it follows through to the sides, you're going to have a great connection. It's going to look greatly connected. But if your wave, your wave pattern S's or whatever you want to call them are flipped and they're going the other way, it's because you're brushing at another angle. Now, another reason why this happened is because in order for you to even establish waves on your sides or where that spot is at, you had to brush at that angle. That was me. On my right side, I had no choice to brush that angle because when I was brushing that way, I got my waves quicker versus me brushing the other way, I couldn't get waves for, for shit. So I decided to switch the pattern up, and when I switched up, I got the waves. The flip side of it was that I lost, I lost the connection. Cause at one point in time, I did have connected, but I lost it when I switched up. And the only reason I switched up because I wanted my waves to be deeper and better, and more defined. They got more defined, but I lost the connection. So just pay attention to your brush patterns, but I recommend taking a lot of pictures. And even doing videos, take a lot of, do a lot of videos, you know, close up on your hair, you know what I'm saying? You know, tie your phone or put your phone somewhere close to the mirror and do, be like this, you know, real, real close up on your hair. And, or just take pictures like I do, just take mad pictures of like certain areas of your hair that you know you got forked and, and look closely at your hair and see what's, what's off, like, what looks different from that wave pattern. But like I said, man, just, just look at that. You will notice it if you, if you put the camera real, real close up on your head, you will notice this pattern. You will see if you got forks or if you got patterns that are not connected or whatever, you will see this. And you will, you will see that. That's what it look like if you just looking at somebody's head from a distance, whatever. That's probably what it look like. But close up, that's what the wave is. So 
I just want to, you know, elaborate on that. I want to show y'all, you know, study your hair more. Try to study your hair. You know, I'm, I'm paying the price. Even a lot of people say I got great ways. I got good ways. You know, man, I like your videos. Man, I like your ways. But trust me, I feel like my ways ain't nothing. I feel like my ways can be better. And I want them to be better. I want them to uh, have some great connections. Um, when it comes to all the help that I've got, as far as trying to get my connections, man, I, the shout outs are ridiculous. I mean, from 360 Jeezy to Frank Blackwell to uh, Billy, man, to the whole One Way Nation, definitely. Um, man, from just everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? There's so many people that have helped me through this journey, especially of trying to get these connections. Like, that's my, own, that's my main journey right now. Once that's established, then I, I feel like I'm you know, I'm at the top. But as of right now, I feel like I'm just a vet, you know what I'm saying? I'm just somebody in the game that's doing their thing, you know? So that's pretty much it. But I just wanted to show y'all that. Again, watch your hair closely. Pay attention to your brush angles. Don't brush all crazy. Don't be just all over the place. Because trust me, it's great to have waves. It looks real nice to have them, you know what I'm saying? It's good, but you got to. Connections though, clean. They just too fat. So it's your boy King HB Three, aka Mr. One Time. Out.